rhythm like I always say. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Unknown zone. Talk show, talk show. Zone unknown. Talk show, talk show. How the hell you find it? In your overpriced high-tech telephone. Deep in your bones. Underneath a pile of stones. It's some kind of virus. Deep in your nose. In between your toes. Smack dab in the middle of your split crotch panty hose. The unknown show. Talk show, talk show. The unknown show. Talk show, talk show. The unknown zone. Talk show. No, I've had Wi-Fi issues. You know, if if I don't, if I don't, but we may freeze. Just you know what I mean. We'll do what we can. Right, exactly. All right, ready? Take it away. You ready? Do it. Let me get it. Let me got it. Let me got it. <laughs> it. I had to get it. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the one, the only, Lori Ladd of Brooklyn Public Access, Yvonne <laughs> Dillette. <laughs> Where am I? The gallery. Woo! <laughs> Lori Ladd. You know Lori Ladd, right? Yes, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. I'm Yvonne Dillette, host of the Unleashed Don't Talk Show. This is a show that begs to ask the question, will I make it through the Great Awakening? Hurry up already! <laughs> it's going to take some time. Holy shit. Kaylin! What up? what up? Caitlin's back in town. Hey, so good to back. see you guys. What up, Phil? What up, Why? So good to be back. Thank you for having me. So good. Six, you... mo six months, 16 days. Something six like months. that. But who's counting? Who's counting? <laughs> We're timeless now, right, guys? Say that again. <laughs> We're timeless now. <laughs> timeless and ageless, if I may add. And ageless, yes. Reverse yeah. aging. I'm calling yes. it in. I just have to show that I have to have that in the yes, I love it. Oh my God. So Phil, we have Phil, my sidekick, and I actually called him a co-host the other day. <laughs> oh, nice. Upgraded. I know. Phil. Yeah. Sorry. What a promotion. How nice. Phil. Yes. The pay raise is incredible. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero. Uh, and the band, of course. And we have our special <laughs> guest, a return guest. Yes. Brian. So excited. New Earth teacher. Hi, so much more. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Love you guys. Love the energy here. Love having oh. you along with everything. It's great. It's great. Awesome. And the music. Come on. It's great. Yeah. yeah I noticed your hair got your hair got longer. All right. Easy. Did it? I actually got a cut, but I'm happy that you're saying it's long because the girl cut too much off. And I was saying, why do I come here? I cut my own hair. So Thank you for noticing that. Well, you know, I don't know. Is it, is it the sun that changes color a little bit too? Or yeah, else? yeah, <laughs> it's lighter for sure. A lot of sunshine makes it a little light brown, reddish, even. So here if I am. If, Phil gets, if you feel that is a little inappropriateness, let me know. I <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just it noticing takes a lot. simple it things. Takes a lot. <laughs> well, it's laughable. They attempt and we just go on anyway. Right. And, you know, that's the thing is that. You know, over the weekend, there were 180 protests around the world, 100, 180 countries protesting. Wow. That's what I wanted to ask you, because I was on the 24th this past Saturday, right? And I'm, I knew you were going to attend. I wanted to hear the deets. You know what? I don't know. I don't know. I, I went. This is my. Don't feel bad. You put your voice out there on here and other ways. So it's OK. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I have to be okay with because, you know, because, you know, that's the thing is that I remember that we all do different things. You know, I, of course, we I, all do different things. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. But there were a lot of people in Central Park, which made me very happy. You know, Paris was out of control. There was so, so many people. It was so packed. And this is what I heard today. You ready for this? Yeah. They literally shot horse shit on the premier's mansion. Good, yeah, that's fucking awesome. The creative energy, <laughs> right? It's so cool. It's so cool. 
I mean, we they left us no choice, right? They left us no choice. So I'm happy to hear anything that or any other version of it than compliance at this point, because exactly. it just, we can't comply to it, you know? No, we can, and we have to keep, you know, it's, I, it's hard to- Now she really froze. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, they heard us. That's all right. So you went to your own um, rally? Just the other day? No. Uh, you know, if there's a rally out here, I'm unaware of it. Um, I was just telling Phil, though, um, he asked if I went to my own rally, and I was saying, if there was one here, I'm unaware of it. You know, it's hard to find anything because everything is so censored, et cetera. Right. But um, typically, I'm like you. I don't, I don't always go to a physical rally. I feel like I use my voice in other ways, and I like to put my energy into things that I want to see manifest. With that being said, we are in some times that are like, like you said before, everyone serves their purpose. So if there are bodies out there, it's applaud it, need it, welcome, especially if they're doing it out of love, right? Most of the rallies I see are high vibe, you know, they're really, they're high vibe. So they're really reeling in, you know, this is what it could be and why are we complying kind of thing. Um, but for me, I'm not hitting the streets. If, if I feel called to do so, I will and I'm prepared to. Right. Because That's the key right there. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's a very small one. And it was interesting. And I heard some speakers, you know, um, but I think it's about being called because you do what you do. I do what I do for sure. Right. You know, and, and there's, you know, I'm also on the ground talking to whoever will listen to me. You I know, know you are. You know, and, and it's interesting because also, um, okay. I, I feel like, I feel like I'm a, uh, it's not a good segue. <laughs> I know. Wait, I'm sorry. I I know you told me what we were going to talk about, but oh, like, you guys spoke without me. Hey, wait a minute. I just, I just, I just yeah. <laughs> <You're> creepy. <laughs> no, I love you, Phil. So no, <laughs> not being creepy. Which I wanted to talk about last last show, and I, I we got carried. Whatever happened, you know. And I, so what I did was I made a a conscious chart. I love it. You're such a teacher. Look at you. Look at your nice handwriting. Yes. Well, you know, I do the cartoons and I, you must have, I'm curious how that works for you when you do readings, especially. And when you do your um, videos on Instagram, because we're dealing with all types of people, right? So, you know, yes. right. So very few people are fully conscious, right? Mm -hmm. We do a lot of semi then there's, you know, the on, you just, I guess you just pray for, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there's, Sorry. <laughs> exactly. Then there's the free pass, which is kind of the on same thing. It's right. Same. After. same thing. Then we have the, I will put, I'll put Phil in the semi. Yeah. I'm in the semi. You are in the semi. Um, well, I can't even read that. What does that say? In between <laughs> on and semi. <laughs> 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 the majority of people these days right yeah yeah then we have in between semi and full which i will i will put myself in that category just because you know there's always room to grow yes you know um and, and that's the level of consciousness that you're at though because you're you understand expansion see isn't that the difference so that's really cool uh, right because you can be fully conscious as long as you are open Right. You can't be stagnant. Stagnant is what keeps us trapped in certain. We want to evolve constantly. I agree. Yes. And then uh, let's see. Leave me alone. We have to leave me alone. <laughs> is that isn't that half of the New Yorkers? Yes, that's half of the world. <laughs> and and that's you know that's a soul contract thing. I will say right. That's a so I'm a little envious in a way. A you know, little envious. Same. Because you know, it's exhausting what we're doing. Don't you think? Yeah, tireless efforts or Ooh. questionable, like, yeah, yeah, I feel like, yeah. And let's see, what a, leave me alone, totally on, and then we go back to full. So that was my little, um, little. I love it. Very I nice. I've seen that in one of your cartoons, too, now that you went through it. I had a little deja vu. I remember seeing the miniature version in a cartoon, which I do adore those cartoons. <laughs> cartoon, yes. And now I love to see the formal, professional version. You should sell a PDF of that. Like, we could all use it. I know. Yeah. Right? I'm doing some T-shirts, and I'm, you know, I, 
I realize this is this is I, I'm just I want to talk about triggers, but before that, I want yeah. to see how what are you doing to maintain your sanity during all this? Well, you know, I, I want to get to what we're talking to you too, but I think that we cannot help but acknowledge what's happening because literally an hour before this call meeting with you guys, um, a friend from Philadelphia, because you know I'm from Philadelphia texted me and said that, you know, lockdown is starting again. Now that speaking of triggers, that is a trigger to me. Um, and I gotta be honest, there's very few things that trigger me except for the conditions that we can't control. Right. So I can't control it. I can only try to empower people. And maybe that is my coping skill, if you will, Yvonne, like maybe that's what I'm doing to, to help me get through the insanity that I'm witnessing. At the same time, I do fully trust the divine plan. Mm -hmm. So I actually think as a matter of fact, I think we're ahead of schedule. I thought that what we're seeing right now wouldn't happen until the fall. So I believe we're ahead of schedule and I just, then I just talk it out, get it out of me. And then I move forward onward. We go, you know what I mean? I, everything is temporary. So I just express it how I need to express. And, and that might be a Leo trait. I'm not quite sure, but for me that, that works. And I encourage other people to express too, because maybe that's one of the things that I'm not seeing enough of. And when it comes out, it comes out sometimes distorted, even for me, because our emotions are there. Right. But I play loud and music and go out in the sun and it changes my energy immediately. Wow. I've been listening to like, elect they call it the, I guess the genre is like electric music is what they call it. They didn't know what it was until the last two, three months. All of a sudden it's my favorite genre. And oh, you that's catching, so funny. Singing in my car to no lyrics. I'm just making up my own even. So yeah, that's a good question though. Cause I do wonder what people are doing that's working for them. Well, you know, and I really appreciate you saying that we're ahead of schedule. That's very, I love that your hopefulness and your, you know, you have amazing awareness, but the hopefulness is the thing because, you know, that we have, we have two sets of people. We have the completely unconscious. Like I, I had a conversation with my dad the other day who tried to get me to get the. Oh um, yeah. Seriously. Your dad was truly yeah. trying to get you to get it. Yeah. He's so pro because he only watches the mainstream media. You yeah, know, watch is this. So just that's the difference. Opportunity, opportunity. So, uh, so you know, we it was it wasn't the best conversation, you know. So, yeah. and I said to him, I said, you know, you have your information, and I know what where you're getting your information from, but I also have all this other information that you don't have. So it's hard to have a conversation with you about it, you know. And then yeah. you know, he got defensive, and he said, I, I know, a I know a little about yours, and I know he knows nothing about mine you know, and, and that's the problem. But what I find um, overwhelming at times is there's so much truth coming out, which is great. You know, between it's, you know, between the V's, right? We got the V's, we got all the corruption, you know, which is every, mm -hmm. uh, it's right. It's mind blowing. Right. And then we have, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use my um, censoring technique child trafficking, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that whole thing, that whole thing. I notice you do that. It cracks me up every time. <laughs> <laughs> she practices it 10 times at least every hour. Well, you know, I do my little <laughs> lot. You know, this is the thing is that I have not, you know, you know, knock wood, I have not been. Um, I know. I noticed that. I was thinking about that earlier action. I was like, I'm going to bring that energy and keep the momentum going on the safety of this. Yeah, yeah you know, so yeah. I kind of figured it out, but you know, it sucks that we have to do it, obviously. But yeah. you know, there's, I don't know if you follow um, Dr. Bradley Campbell. He's mm -mm. he's a young, younger. Oh, I know who he is. I know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, he posts all the time. He posts TikTok and he writes all the words, you know, he changes all the words to, you know, about health and, and against the V or the real stats or whatever. And right. uh, he said the other day that he had, he got uh, removed from Instagram twice and he had a hundred thousand followers. And then he, he came back on. He doesn't care. He's an Aquarius. He doesn't care. He's rebellious. Doesn't care. This is the age of Aquarius for Pete's sake. He's real and it is for us. I know, I fucking love it. So he came back and then 100,000 very quickly, within like a month, they took him down again and now he's back again. 
Wow. See, we're relentless. And that's the one thing. There was a word that came to me years ago and it was unbreakable and relentless. And I never, uh, there was the point, this word came in so strongly that I thought I was supposed to get a tattoo of it. I have no tattoos, by the way. That's how strong it came in. And now that we're in these times, I see what that was. It was a preface. It was letting me know not just what I was going to witness in others, but witness in myself. And I think we're all doing that. And that's a great example of people that are just, yeah, it's go ahead, do what you want. We're relentless. We're coming back anyway. Right. And you know, it's funny because now it's so, it's, I love how this happens. Triggers, right? So, so I certainly get triggered because I do, you know, I put myself out there, right? And I, I try to figure out uh, what my comfortability is because I do get, scared, you know, not that I'm a big, you know, target, but, um, but it's scary. And it, you know, it's probably a childhood thing, right? Like speaking up and feeling like you're going to get in trouble. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I do what I can. The cartoons is such a gift because you can't, you know, algorithms can't figure that out. <laughs> True. <laughs> what a gift. That happened right before the uh, pandemic. Yeah. Right? So that's the gift. Right. And, um, and, and so this is the other thing, because, you know, when we talk about the spiritual path, right? So we've all, obviously, you start where you start, and then there are different levels of consciousness along the way, right? You wake up, and then, you know, you, you get to cruise a little bit, I hope, you know, and then, you know, and then a new thing comes up. So recently, I got triggered a couple uh, with some people, one, one, one particular group that I, these new people that I hang out with from around the world, um, I got triggered, not by anything they did, but something that was going on with me. And I kind of lashed out a little bit, mm -hmm. it was terrible, but I felt bad about it, but I couldn't, I was so caught up in my own shit that this is, this is what's so interesting along the way. Right. So I knew that they didn't do anything to me but I just couldn't quite let it go. Cause I didn't know what exactly what was going on with me. Right. Right. And this is what we all, this is where we're all headed. You know, yep. you, you know, the spiritual path, I think we know it's not about smiling and being happy and grateful every second. Exactly. Thank you for acknowledging that. Yeah. Yikes. Except, you know, that's, that's cool too. Like that's cool too. But like when apropos, right? Like when apropos, like not out of, not out of fake positivity. Right. That's so. the result of whatever work you just did. You get a few moments of being very happy and grateful. And then some other shit comes up. You got to deal with and work on. Yeah. But Yvonne, when, when can you let it out? Like there's like, there's oh, yeah. like no particular place. Like, Oh, I'm having the moment. Oh, I'll have to save it till I'm in the safer place or a different place or in my pillow. I don't know. Where does, what is, you know what? where does that exist? That is a great motherfucking question, Phil. Well, no, wait, I time out because that's kind yeah. of what I was saying earlier. I one of my coping strategies is expressing it immediately because if the longer it sits inside of me, then it starts festering and being weird. And then it does come out on the wrong people at the wrong time. And it's none of their business. And to be frank, it's none of mine either. It's just something that is an irritated fragment that is none of my business, that is triggering, like you said, maybe something from whatever. I don't care if it's childhood or whatever, yeah. but I think it's a time that we all find either a safe person to talk to, or do you see all the rants on Instagram? My goodness. When I did that slidey thing, when you slide over, I'm like, everyone is ranting. And I'm like, I don't even care if they don't care if they have no followers, no listeners for them to just get it out. Yeah. And I'm not saying that's for everyone, but I was actually cracking sure. up at how many rants I saw it's important to get it out. You have to get it out. And this is the thing for me, Phil, that is like the, I'm so, I want to say I'm proud of you for asking that. That is the, yeah. me that is like for, especially for, let's say, I'm going to say civilian or civilian. <laughs> only only semi-conscious. Right. Semi. <laughs> you don't get a free pass. Free pass. Yeah. Yes. Thank God we have it on the If you're friends with me, there's no free pass. Yeah. Not possible. So for me, my uh, my original uh, uh, safe place was therapy way, way back. Right. Mm -hmm. Then and then I got sober. So I still go to AA meetings and I share whatever I need to share, you know, within, you know, within limits. I don't get super personal in a meeting, but I can grab someone. I still go to therapy off and on. I need I need people. I need 
I need two things. People I can trust, obviously. Um, a safe place, right? You can't just do it anywhere, you know? Right. And also, I still like, what I like about a, uh, like a therapist or a, I, I actually talked to one woman, she's a, a little bit into, you know, she's an interface, interfaith minister and into Wiccan stuff, which, you know, are fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. You know, an objective uh, perspective, someone that doesn't know anyone around me that I'm talking about per se, that I need to talk about people to understand whatever. And, you know, if someone, like if I get triggered or if someone's agitating me, I need to, I want to know. Me. <laughs> I've done it to you. I've done it to you where like some weird thing comes up and I send a random weird thing to you. Like, because that feeling inside does stink. Like it sucks. Like it sucks to feel that way. And I've done it to you. I've done it to Natalie. These are all people that I've only met through my Instagram family. And I do it sparingly, but I just okay. use my best judgment do I need to release this? And do I have an understanding person that knows the world is also an insanity stage? And like, I don't know. I don't want you to feel that way. Oh my God. No, but you know what? That's, this is the thing is that I'm at the point where I can't, I can't keep it in very long. You know, I have to get it out somewhere. And, you know, you also can do exercise in the music. There's all different, you know, Sure. depends how much of a build up, how, I was going to say, it builds up, though, eventually. You still have to eventually release it and express it. Yeah. So, Phil, do you talk to anybody or uh, you just man up? See, men have a harder time, too, right? Because it's not, you're not really taught. You know, I have less probably triggers or I'll just, I probably suppress them more, you know? (laughs) You've mastered suppressing them. What's that? Maybe you've mastered suppressing them. I hope not, but maybe. Well, it's possible. Like I can vent on a, a wonderful man. He's so bad. On who? <laughs> That's about it. On a lovely man, man, the Blasio, the idiot. Oh, what a piece of shit. So, um, well, they're all corrupt, you know. So, um, <laughs> but you know, that's I think, and I think that's part of the great awakening. I think there's a few things, right? For example, I, you know, I take I take a drop in art class. I love that. Yeah. You know, and I love my art teacher. He's amazing. But mm-hmm. he still has his brother is in, uh, I want to say show business, right? In the film business in California. And exactly. Another opening. And, another <laughs> and he wasn't getting work. Like, and he's, his brother started getting super depressed or whatever. And he felt like a failure. And he right. had worked in the business his whole, like for 30 years. So I said to him, I said, the definition of success, I believe, is changing because it used to be if you're not constantly doing something or getting an award or whatever, what, or getting paid, you know, a lot of money, then you're, you, it, you don't count. You're a piece of, sh- you know, you, you're a failure, right? Which I measured myself against a lot of people for a long time, you know, and my mother would say things to me, like, if you make one person laugh, you're a success, you know, and, uh, that's after she yelled at me for 14 years when I was growing up, but whatever, she changed. <laughs> um, but like that, that statement like meant the world to me. I, I remember that from 25 years ago. Yeah. So it's changing. And, and I said to him, you know, my idea of uh, geniuses in, in film and TV are the, are the avant-garde ones. I don't yeah. like them anything. So, you know, what would you say your... Definitely. No, it's all about evolution and innovation. I mean, the people that this isn't bothering are the people that, well, for one, maybe we're entrepreneurs to begin with, and that's just on a work level. Mm. But to be honest, we all have our own gifts and talents. And we all have things that maybe we were, like you said, like measuring in a way that we were doing a comparison version. And now we're out of rope with that. We have this opportunity really to look around and be like, wow, this ain't working. It's pissing me off or, or just, I'm not getting work, et cetera. There's so many different, you know, variations, but it forces us to look at what do I actually want to do? What am I finding myself doing my time with that? I enjoy that. I lose track of time. Even I like it. And how can I make that maybe not just profit, but like you said, success, because it is successful to reach people. It's successful when you find your work is meaningful and you're sharing it in a way that is just noticed. Yeah. Kind of like your mom said, like even just one person, but it grows, it grows. And that is part of the awakening is that, you know, maybe you can't cap it for any longer because guess what? We've been too polite for too long. 
even myself. And people will say, I'm so blunt. And I, and I say, but even I, and I do the same thing I'm sure you do, which is question yourself after you say things, because we do yes. have those audiences, right? And, and, and that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of being in this earth realm, if you will, is that we have so many different people with so many different backgrounds with so many different, like, things they can bring to the table. And it's all about like, how are we gonna make that valuable though? Instead of doing that false cookie cutter version of what you just said, which is the comparison of success, and especially with the masculine, thinking that their only value is what they can put on the table. And it is perhaps the emotion, right? The, the part that they suffocate, right? So all these things have to come up. And even if they look ugly, I firmly believe the more chaos, the more healing is happening at the same time. So the more chaos, right, almost the better. Messy, messy. recovery, yeah. messy. I tried to, when I first got into recovery, I tried to do it all perfectly and do the steps, you know, the 12 steps and get the sponsor and like do whatever. And then I fell apart because I had all these feelings that had to come out and I had to go to therapy, you know, and, and it's messy. All relationships, everything, you know, it goes, it's almost like a, like the beginning of a relationship, right? It's that's where the honeymoon phase, everybody's in love, everything's yeah. great. They can go wrong. Right. And then shit comes up. Yeah. To heal, to heal. Right. And, and the, the, I love what you said about um, everybody has their own gifts because I think, I believe that's where we're headed, where you can have an audience. It doesn't have to be everybody. No, nope. right? everybody's going to have their own. Like I have my little audience, you know, and you do your, I have to give you a lot of props for how you set up your good businesswoman. And I'm still working on that. You have all your links. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh link oh my God. I'm, I'm yes, so behind. King. I do. Website. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. And I, and I caught, and that was a trigger that I, I, an awareness I'll say that I realized today, it's like, what am I waiting? Like I'm working with this guy to do a website and it's like six months. Like what the fuck? Why am I taking so long? You don't even need a website. Websites are so last paradigm, but if you want one for credibility, it's nice to have. Well, for t-shirts and stuff. I know I put it, I, I know I didn't really need it, but I thought, you know what, just have it because I want to sell some merch. I did the same. Yeah. All right, put it on Etsy too. Girl, I have all kinds oh, of Oh, that's solutions. right. I got to do an Etsy thing. Thank you. Yeah. So, so the thing is that this is what I've been realizing, you know, because in my, I hate to say this, in my day. No, I want to hear it. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, I was way too edgy. You know, I was never going to make it as me. The more I could compromise myself, which I really couldn't do and I didn't do. You know, maybe I did a little, but, you know, my eye wouldn't. It never worked. It probably didn't work when you tried to do it. Yeah. Thanks, Channel 7. That was a Thanks, Channel 7. It was awesome. <laughs> That was awesome. That I could do because it was easy. That was like, you know, not really compromising. But um, but that was the thing. It's like, you know, I, there was no place for me. And I was I was the plays and stuff that I would do. I would get pigeonholed because I have a certain look. So I, a lot of times I get cast as the Earth Mother, which is a lot of fun. That's amazing. <laughs> not Where's your crown? That. Right. Where's your crown? <laughs> Let's, right, exactly. Unless I was doing like my own comedy shows. So, you know. You know that whole thing. So we, we the that's the thing is the the diff, the uh, the wow am I stuttering? What the fuck? The climb, the change we're making from the three D to the five D. It's stripping us of anything we thought we were, even the parts that we thought we got rid of. If there's more, it just it's just anything. ripping it away, ripping it away. And that is why you probably get triggered so often because. Especially if you're not able to express yourself. I know you do, but just, you know, for conversation's sake, you, your vibration is so high that when you're being pulled into these lower vibrations, it does not resonate with your energy on a point that is beyond consciousness at this point. It, it actually is part of your being, if you ask me, part of your vessel even, because you've just been on this path and you are just determined, you've decided it is you, you are. Yeah, and you too. So, yeah, the frequencies when they hit you, it's just ooh, like our light perhaps might trigger them even. And that's why they're sending off whatever they're sending that hits us, you know? Right. That's a very good yeah. way of looking at it. So they're Phil trying to they're trying to deflect their energy because they, they don't want to go to the higher plane. Yeah. They want to stay in in that comfort zone, like, oh, she's the evil one. You know, exactly, so I have to <laughs> Phil. I've had people run away from me. I've had people run away from me. 
<laughs> so Phil, how are you? How's your frequency at this moment in time? Oh, my, you guys forget about it. It's way up there. But when we were talking about success, I think it's more of a personal thing than a, oh. other people's thing about success, how you successful you are. Because I sing all the time, and some people say I work. I just want you to know there have been some glitches, and I, you know, I will, editing is a beautiful thing. So I apologize. I want to apologize. <laughs> what, so what did you say? We couldn't get it. <laughs> we, we, you said we couldn't get what you said. They will fail. Like, that, that is what it's about. Sorry, you cut out a little bit, but from what I heard you say, like, that's what it's about. It's about having bravery and not needing any validation from anything external any longer, whether it's likes, follows, people that show up live. If you're playing, for example, like it's just about you doing your craft, because once you get into it, at least in my experience, like you don't like I surrendered. I don't know what I'm doing, but I keep getting more and more and more as I go and I keep refining as I go. But you have to take that initial bite, that initial scary move into it and be vulnerable. And I actually think vulnerability is like kind of the secret sauce. Like oh, once you be vulnerable, you like people see it and they admire your truth and your bravery. Right. I like that. Yes. And Phil just, you know, um, went on a retreat for mm. three days playing guitar for eight hours a day. Phil, yes. you're a new person since the winter. I love this. See what the Great Awakening is doing for people. We have all this time to these beautiful things. Gifts and yeah. talents. Hashtag. Yes. And that's right. That's the thing. You can't, you know, because when the pigeonholing thing is over, because we, we can try many different things, right? What 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 do you feel inspired next to do? Yes. And I said that years ago when I left, when I decided to leave teaching, I remember sitting at the lunch table and saying, guys, the gatekeepers are gone. We don't need, gate, we don't need a hiring manager, a CEO, an application even to tell me what my qualifications are. I also need our reviews. Let's be real. All you need are a few good reviews and you can do anything. And I believe that. And I believe that when you do a good job for people, they want to share that with others. And hey, if it's your gift and talent, that's in my opinion, that's what's right for you. That's awesome. That's awesome. So what do you do? What do you, what, give me, what are you doing these days? How are you? Yeah. She's smiling. So that's good. <laughs> Look, man, I can't complain. I do have to recommend anyone that lives anywhere. They don't like to move. <laughs> I'm getting there. I will say, and that's not just you. This seems to be a common theme kind of around me. And I don't know exactly why, but I will say that I do like I, I'm loving living in Arizona, not because I made a ton of friends and party every night. I actually spend a lot of time completely by myself. Mm -hmm. um, it actually is hot as hell out there right now. And we had a week of like truly terrible storms. So it has nothing to do with, again, the standard of it's because I I think that sovereignty is everything right now. And that's just what I've been working on more and more every day. I'm in a creative mode. I just created some new different themed readings that I put on speaking of Etsy, my Etsy page nice. um, to different themes of my Oracle cards and stuff. I'm just creating, I'm just out in sunshine. I go out on hikes. If it's too hot, I drive around in nature. That's literally what I do every day. And then I do my readings and my sessions in between the school year is starting. I can't believe it. So I'll be tutoring again in a few weeks. Oh, cool. Yeah. So yeah. Like Arizona? Is Arizona cool for you? Dude, it's cool. Like, it's cool. People's like, people get it. Like, no one has the shot around here. If they do, there's a few straggler weirdos. But, like, generally speaking, it's it's not outnumbered. I actually, I got to be real. For the first time in my life, I feel a little bit spoiled. Like, I feel like I don't even like saying that to people because I'm like, I understand how. Oh, I don't because I didn't I didn't live where I used to live in Philly for the last year. But here, it, that is one thing that not having to deal with is making a huge difference in my life. I, for example, I went to dog sit. I'm dog sitting this place. I met new clients yesterday and I told them, I, they're, oh, what do you do? Oh, I do Reiki. Da, da, da. I have a whole laundry list of things. The woman got so excited about the Reiki. She says, well, that's great. You're ahead of time because a lot of people seem like they're not trusting Western medicine. And I said, well, yeah, you know, and her husband goes on this whole to do about whatever. But my point is they were very open about talking about their feelings about what's happening. Yeah. And I thought that was very refreshing. It kind of filled my cup, you know, it reminds you that you're not the only one. Right. And that's, you know, I, we have three minutes. That's the beauty of, I believe, what's being exposed because a lot of us are finding out 
what's true and what's not true. And the not true stuff is so fucking blatant. It's amazing. Right. Like I watch, you know, uh, de Blasio and Cuomo and the you know, they, they're getting ready to knock on the doors, right? For the V, which I will not be, you know, that's insane, insanity. So well, to wrap it up, what do you think? What, you said we're ahead of schedule. Yeah, we're definitely ahead of schedule. Okay, so do you see, like, you know, I know you also know a little of the astrology. Do you see, like, some rough waters? Well, I think that this is going to be, so people have already had the opportunity to kind of switch yes, no, yes. But this is going to be, like, it's time, like, gang, gang. Like, are we going to say yes again or are we not? And it's this is going to be really the defining one. But the truth is, again, I thought this would happen in the fall. And by the winter, we would have the, quote, unquote, revolution of people being in more sovereign states, especially with their medical situations. Mm -hmm. But I, I would expect that now, maybe in September, maybe in October. I don't, I don't know We're, we've moved everything up a bit, but it's, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's going to be, it's for those of us that are awakened, it's going to feel boring as heck, but it's going to be a movie and it's going to get worse for a minute. And I do think, again, I think we're going to evolve out of it. And those that don't want to, it's going to become in depth like, to be completely crystal clear. Like, yeah, totally yeah. clear. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, because when I was watching some of the um, the rallies in London and Paris, and they were in Greece, you know, like all over, they were so packed, and it did feel ahead of schedule. Yeah, it's a, that's amazing. I didn't even know that's amazing, amazing. I saw some of Greece, but I didn't realize it was that big. And and again, since I've seen it, so that's amazing. Yeah, and you know what? I want I would love for Americans to do that. We're a big piece of this. We're a big piece of this. Our compliance is a big piece of it. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes down. Right. But. Well, and, and to wrap up, only 50% or a little less have gotten fully. So we are winning. Better than we say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so whatever you hear, New York might suck. It might be 70%, but around the country, you know, it's, it's, it's. Well, the best part is, I wonder how many of them are going to get the, an another one when they push the next booster one. I don't think many people are. You better not, Phil. Don't, Phil. Phil, you're going to die. I'm telling you right now, you're going to die if you get the booster. I'm just telling you. It's no it's no joke. It's really well, you're just going to make another well, breed of humans. We want natural people, not GMOs running around. Well, Maybe thank God I'm not breeding anymore. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I may, I may need a new co-host. He is the experiment. Aw. I don't want I mean, I, I, We tried everything. Listen, I'm semi-conscious and moving moving forward, so don't worry about me. And I I talk to a lot of people. Good. Okay, good. Okay, good. And I say pray for Phil. Kaylin, thank you so much. This has been <laughs> thank awesome. Kaylin, another blast. Yes, thank you so much, guys. All right. Uh, I'll see you around the campus. And your last reading was amazing. Thank you so much. And we'll talk soon. Thank you. Yes. Take care, guys. You too. Well. Take care. <laughs> Deep in your nose, in between your toes, smack dab in the middle of your split crotch panty hose. The unknown show, the unknown show, the unknown zone, talk show, talk show.